guys. Today I'm going to show you all a pretty cool little trick to check when you're not using your mower and your battery goes dead. And um, it's, a it's a trick to where you know the battery is good, but you know something is draining your battery. Could be a bad battery, but I have a video for that. You could do a load test on the battery to test for that. But this is a trick to show you how to check if something's draining your battery down and be able to figure out what is draining your battery down. You're going to need one of two things test light. This is the easiest way, I think, is to test light. Or you can use a bubble heater. They'll both work. And um, I'm going to show you all how to do this little, little trick. Um, I made me a Patreon page. I'll include a link in the description if I've helped you on one of my videos and you want to support the channel you can go there and um, support the channel there I think you can do like a dollar and there's no max it's a dollar a month you can do three dollars a month whatever you decide to to support the channel with um, but um, like I said, I'll leave the link in the description for you to get to that page. For you guys that's just tuning in and you haven't subscribed to my channel, the little subscribe button's on your right, about middle screen. After you click the subscribe button, click the little bell, and then click all, and that will give you all of future notifications of my videos. But let's get started on this trick. All right, guys. First thing you want to do is disconnect the negative on your battery. Leave the positive connected, but disconnect the negative only. And then take your test light. Now guys, I'm, I'm simulating how to do this without something wrong with this mower. It's not draining the battery down, but I can still explain it to you and show you the trick on how to do it. Um, I like to do my videos with things working. Um, I'll probably get around to doing some with where they're not working, but I, I like to show you what it's supposed to do versus what it's not supposed to do. And if it's not working, I can't show you what it's supposed to do. Okay, you're going to take your, but say you do got a, a mower that is draining your battery down while you're not using it. It could be the battery's bad, which you'll need to go check out my video on load testing the battery. You want to charge it up, fully charged, and then load test it. To make sure it's not the battery that's actually going dead, rather than something pulling on the, the battery. But you can do this cool little trick. It won't take you but maybe two minutes to do it once you learn it. But you take your test light, you hook the, the alligator clip to your battery cable post. And then move it out of the way to where it can't touch the negative on the battery. And then you'll just touch this to ground. It's not coming on. So that tells me I don't have anything 
pulling on my battery. It's good. If I did have something pulling on it, it would light up. And I'm going to simulate that for you just by turning things on. I'm going to turn my key on. There's your light. Did you see it come on? It's on. Just like that. That's because my key's on and there's something trying to, to pull, trying to, some power trying to get to ground. It's actually amps trying to get to ground and that's what makes that light light up. So, let's just say my key is off. I turned it on. But let's just say it's off. And let's say your key's off and your light's on. Well, something's drawing on the battery. So, what you got to do to figure out what that is, is start disconnecting stuff. Um, disconnect the voltage regulator. If that didn't kill it, hook it back up. Disconnect the key switch. If that didn't kill it, hook it back up. Disconnect your PTO switch. If that didn't turn the light off, hook it back up. Unplug your headlights. Any connector that you can find on the mower, unplug it. One, one thing at a time. And once you unplug the right thing, that light will go out. And that means you figured out what's wrong with it. Or the circuit that it's in. It could just be a wire touching ground somewhere making that light come on but I know exactly what's making this light come on and it's my amplifier because it's on so what I'm gonna do to simulate that it's got a fuse in it on my amp that I installed on it last year little it's a little Bluetooth amplifier that goes to some speakers but anyway I'm going to disconnect the fuse on it and the light will go off and that will be simulating what will happen when you actually do it on your mower. So I'm going to pull this fuse and then the light goes off. If I hook the fuse back up, the light comes back on and the more draw the more amps that is being drawn to ground, the brighter that light will be. So if you've got something pulling really hard on that battery, that light will be real bright. Right now it's fairly dim. So if I hook it, if I hook that test light to the ground and then touch it to the positive, it'll be really bright. Can you see that? It's a whole lot brighter. That's because I'm the, the 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 light is drawing the amps, the full amps that it needs off the battery, so it gets full brightness. But when it's hooked up to check for a draw, it's really dim. So if I turn something else on, it would get even brighter. So. Let me uh, let me hook my uh, headlights up, which they're LED, so they won't. It probably won't get much brighter. Yeah, it didn't really change, did it? It's not drawing enough on it. But, anyway, you get the idea of what to do. You just take that test light and hook the alligator to the battery cable. 
and then touch this to the negative on the battery. And what that's doing, it's showing you amps that's trying to get to ground. Any component on a mower that uses voltage, it has to have ground or it won't work. And that's why power goes through something, it has to have ground for it to work. So that power is trying to get back to the ground post on the battery. So it will light this light up. Um, you can use a voltmeter. I don't like to because it will give you false readings a lot. So if you don't have a test light, I would suggest go getting one just because of that reason. But we're going to do it. We're going to hook it up, the voltmeter. Needs to be on DC, 20 volts. It will, you're gonna do the same thing. Put your positive lead on the battery cable post, and then put your negative lead on the battery negative. It shows 11 point 88 volts so let me unplug my headlights there we go and now I'm gonna take this fuse out and that voltage should go away but a lot of times it won't it'll give you a false reading fuse is out see and that's weird the voltage actually went up And that's why I don't like using a voltmeter. Because now you really think there's a voltage draw on your battery, and there's really not. And what that is, that meter is set to see voltage only. It don't matter if it is 0 0.000001 of one amp it's going to show that voltage so if there's no if there's no draw at all or like very 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 little like nothing to even matter it will still show that voltage if that makes sense because it's not really voltage you're checking for it's the amps the amps are what turns that light, that test light on. Amps is what every component uses. That's what it draws off the battery is amps. It's a 12 volt battery, but it's still drawing amps. So when you hit the key to start it, your starter pulls about 50 amps off that battery. You turn your headlights on well these are LED it probably only pulls like maybe a 0.2 of an amp maybe a half an amp if that meant much so that's why the meter will give you false readings if you can just get you a test light it'll save you a whole lot of headache they're only like 10 bucks I think maybe 15 bucks for a, a real good strong one but um I wouldn't use a meter. You can. If I thought you have, I would use it. But just, just remember, it may throw you off. You'll think you have something drawing on the battery when you really don't. Alright, guys. I hope that video helped you figure out whatever's drawing your battery down and killing it. Um... If you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And then hit that little bell and you'll get future notifications of future videos. And um, like I said, if this video helps you and you want to support the channel, I'll have a Patreon page in the description. You can click that link. It's 
like you can do, I think you can do a dollar, three dollars, five dollars, whatever you want to support the channel with. But, um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.